What's wrong, Talitha? Oh, the same thing that's been wrong ever since that pasty-faced brat came to Harmony. Charity? <sighs> no, Zsa Zsa Gabor. Of course, Charity, you twit. Oh, jeez. Uh, Jimmy, sorry for asking a stupid question. Can Tabitha use a double martini? No, not even a single. There's work to be done. I have to think of a way to get rid of that girl and make it final. The closer she gets to Miguel, the stronger her powers seem to become. If her extrasensory perceptions keep evolving as quickly as they have been, then oh, it's only a matter of days before Tibby and Tabby meet their doom. <laughs> to come up with a new plan to get rid of Charity and Miguel. <sighs> Maybe tell her that she gets some rest. And think of a plan after Valentine's Day. Rest? Huh? She thinks tell her no working too hard. There's no such thing as working too hard. Oh, yes. What? <laughs> well, well, well. Maybe that stuffing in your head does count for half a brain after all. I think you've just given me an idea for my next plan. To destroy Miguel and usher Charity into the dark side. What kind of plan, Tabitha? <laughs> One that works! Well, do you remember when you said to me that I was trying too hard and I said no such thing? Well, you were right. I was. And you rang a bell that chimed deep in my subconscious, Timmy. Timmy rang your bell? Yes. It reminded me of the teachings of Zen. If you chase your shadow, you'll never catch it. But if you stand still, your shadow comes to you. You're going to destroy Charity's shadow? No, you little... All I'm going to do is go with the flow. I'm going to be observant and take advantage of any situation that presents itself to destroy Charity instead of forcing the issue. Come on, Timmy. Where are Timmy and Tabitha going? We're going to Grace's shop. And we're just going to hang out and wait for an opportunity to entice Charity over to the dark side. Charities ESP could grow strong enough for her to realize who I really am. Her worst enemy. figured it out. To me and tell they're dead. To me and tell they're dead, princess. Tabitha? Uh, yes, dear? Can I ask you something? Okay. Yes? What you saw in there just now between me and Miguel... Oh, go on. Well, it's just that Aunt Grace might be kind of upset if she knew... I mean, Miguel and I were supposed to be watching the shop, and... Oh, yes, my 
Dear, of course, your secret is safe with me. Thank you. <laughs> Were you going to go around the shop and take a look? Yes. Yes, I was. <laughs> All right, we'll go on inside. I'll be right there. <laughs> May I help you? I'd like to speak to the owner. Oh, um, actually, she's out of town right now. Oh. Uh, maybe I can help you. I'm her niece. What can I get for this beauty? There's something very interesting going on here, Timmy. Actually, I don't know what she pays for things, so I'm really not of any help. It's really a lovely bird, though. Isn't he, though? One of a kind, rarer than rare. Well, what do you think the bird's worth? Why don't you examine it? Give it a good going over and let me know what you think. All right. What is it, Charity? It's horrible. It's so horrible. Uh-oh. She's having another premonition. This bird is a piece of art. There's nothing horrible about it. She's not talking about the bird. It's so horrible. <laughs> What's so horrible, Charity? Is it another premonition? Poor Charity. Timmy wishes he could wipe away her tears. I'll wipe the floor with you if you don't sip it. It all started when I touched this bird. What happened? I felt great pain. Pain for a family close to me. And it's like this bird's gonna destroy their lives. It's getting closer, Miguel. This family's getting closer to being torn apart. What family is she talking about? More than one family, Timmy. More than one family will be destroyed.